Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting ourselves an Alamite pickaxe, and then also getting into thermal expansion. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so as you can see, we have this lovely pit of lava, and uh, what I'm doing is filling a drum, which uh, you can see right here. The drum, pretty simple to make, um, just requires mostly iron. I mean, everything in this is iron, it's just a, an iron drum. Um, but yeah, this guy is awesome because it's going to hold 256 buckets of lava. So I can pretty much drain this entire lake. And I'm pretty sure I can pick it up. Um, there we go. That was weird. Um, I'm pretty sure I can... I should be able to pick this up and take it with me and the contents remain in there. Um, if we see right here. It is a lava drum with 54 buckets in it as of right now. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to continue filling this up, and then I'll meet you back at the base where I have done a lot of work, and I hope you guys are ready to see this. Alright guys, so I have cleared out that entire lava lake, and as you can see, um, in between episodes I just moved all my stuff, took some of my cobblestone, dressed this area up, uh, made a just little makeshift base for right now. This is probably going to be the starting base for us. Um, I planted a tree here. And uh, you can actually in 1.7 get the tree to be large by planting or by planting a sapling, putting two pieces of, of any block or, or I guess it has to be a dirt on one side. Um, but you put your dirt here and then put a flower above it. And uh, if you bone mill it enough, bam, you'll get a large tree. And then I just uh, surrounded everything else around this tree. And it uh, actually works out quite nice. So I actually like this little tree here, or I should say big tree. Um, but down here, I went ahead and made a mine shaft. What I did is every 10 blocks down, I went ahead and made like a little room. Um, so if we take a look, every 10 blocks down, or not from here, but from this point here, um, every 10 blocks down, um, there is a mining uh, area, as you can see as we go down. And uh, that that's going to work out perfect. So when I go to mine more stuff, which is super easy with Vein Miner, um, it's going to make my life a lot easier. So... Um, today's episode, we're going to be filling out some more stuff in the quest book. So, um, I know that's super bright. Bam. Get hit right in the face with that. Alright, so it says, um, set up the five basic tinkers tools creation stations. Alright, make a liquid transfer node, um, and import lava and water into your small tree to create obsidian. So this is going to be your next step, is going to be making some obsidian. Um, uh, making alamite in your smeltery. Alright, it says make it in our smeltery, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to. If we take a look in our journey, journal here, um, we do have some stuff we can go ahead and take care of. This I got when I was mining. Get a couple more charged certus. Um, but this is what we need. We need Alamite. I'm pretty sure there's another quest. Um, under exploration, is it? No, it is iron chests that unlock that. This right here. You get all my ingots right here um, for completing this quest. But we need gold for that. I don't think I have enough gold, so I may just make it, you know, standard and then worry about that later. Um, farming, we got, uh, let's see, we got something done here. Oh yeah, I got this from killing a mob. So yeah, you get these, of course, from killing mobs. And we got some enchant, enchant, uh, what was that? Bottles of enchanting. Oh yeah. So we got some of that good stuff. By the way, we cannot get to farming until we've made this mount lock. As you can see, it's all branches off from here. If you try to make a regular hoe, you can't do that. So um, that's something that uh, we're going to have to work on that we can't currently get right now. I do see an enderman off into the distance. Let me uh, let me try. Oh, did he disappear? He must be underground because I don't see him here. Um, but yeah, this is our, our lovely base, and uh, this is what we're going to expand off of. I did um, add some more bricks up here. Um, made it just a little bit larger. This is still a really small smeltery, so um, just don't get me wrong here. This is this is really small, but it's nice and compact, and it will work for now, um, especially with some automation going into here. So any of our ores. So I actually should be getting um, some of the copper in here and making copper ingots. That's something that I probably need to do, and that I will do. Um, it did run out of uh, lava. That's why you see I have the lava drum here. And uh, what I can do is take the uh, lava drum. I can set it here for now. But one of the quests was to make fluid transfer pipes right here. Or fluid transfer nodes. Um, it does require some redstone. 
I have not gotten any more redstone, so I'm going to have to go do some mining before we get started here. But uh, other than that, we're going to be making some of these. We're going to be getting some automation set up. Um, along with the automation, let's see, the journey begins. Um, we're probably going to be pushing on into um, this stuff right here. So we need to work on getting a machine frame. And I think the machine frame, 10 gears, um, seared glass. So we're going to need to get some more seared brick cooked up, I'm guessing. Yeah, with any type of glass here. And more iron. And that's what we're going to need for that. Um, and that's thermal dynamics, I think. Yeah, thermal expansion, not dynamics. What am I thinking? So yeah, getting some thermal expansion machines up, that's also an easier way to get some, uh, some more stuff going. But it uh, looks like we could probably do um, the steam dynamo to get started. The same way we've done it in Radon and all the other ones, we take an Oculus Accumulator, which we probably can't get right yet. Oh yeah, I forgot. Autonomous activators are in this pack. Oh man, how do I remember, remember these? I think these are the ones that uh, require power, because after a certain point in 1.7.10, they started requiring power. So I don't know if these are the ones that require power or not. Uh, but yeah, I did get some sorting. Here is um, all my tools in here. Um, some food items, wood. We got some, uh, some like, uh, extra st uh, stuff that drops from mobs, different type of mobs, and then all of our plant-based items here. So yeah, I just gotta get some sorting going on. These are, like, our rarity, or rare items. Um, I did notice this stuff. Um, I haven't seen very many of these guys. So, um, I don't know how rare they are, but, yeah, I haven't seen very many of them. Alright, um, let's go ahead and do this, and then I'm gonna go mining. And hopefully find some more redstone. Um, I didn't actually mine for redstone while I was doing all this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully gather a bit of the materials that we're going to need for today's episode. And then I will be right back. Ah, perfect. While I was mining down here, um, I did manage to find this, which is a dense diamond ore. Um, this bad boy is going to be perfect. So I just need to get over here. Um, throw this down. We're going to do our best to grab this without um, losing any. There's probably some more diamond. Yeah, there is. So yeah, we got a bunch of diamond down here. This is perfect. I can't ask for any better. Um, so let's go ahead and break you. Bam, get our achievement. And hope for some more diamond. And of course we have all this redstone that I will take. And our diamonds. So perfect. And then all this, this is from Thomcraft. I love these ores. They're so nice looking. Um, but yeah, we don't really need them right now. Over here is some experience berries, which are actually really nice. Um, we also have some blue flowers over there. I haven't actually gone over here. There's this nice little uh, mine shaft area, or cave area, that I should probably go check out. I'm kind of afraid. I don't want to use my vein miner over here. That would be bad. I'd fall right into the lava. Yeah, there's this nice little area right here. I really need to upgrade. Um, I'm going to stop using these picks here soon. Ooh, there's some more diamond right there. Perfect. I couldn't ask for any better. Now I just need to find some gold. Um, but yeah, here's some of these experience or essence berries. They give you experience from Tigger's Construct. These also give you, um, if you click them, they'll give you this stuff. And if you have enough of them, you can make yourself, um, not this, where is it at? Right there. You can cook them and turn them into a gold nugget. So yeah, not really worth it for me. Not, uh, not worried about those right yet. Um, later on you can possibly automate them, but, uh, there's no need for me to really automate them right yet. I'm more worried about gathering as much ore as I possibly can, and especially iron, um, and getting that done. So... I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure what these divine RPG um, things are, but I can't mine them yet. I need an obsidian level pickaxe, such as a diamond pickaxe, and then I'll be able to mine those guys. Um, I should look it up. Let's look up divine RPG. I'm sure it'll take me through it. Oh, it looks like you can use it to make decorative stuff. A lot of decorative things. Um, I don't know if these do special things. But this is nice. It looks like you can compress things. Cyclops pumpkin. I'm not, I'm not sure what a lot of this stuff does. 
Um, but that looks a lot like Blizz. Blizz powder. But yeah, it looks like there's a lot of stuff to it later on that we can get into. Boy, there's a lot of items in that. There is a lot of items. Holy moly. Look at all the tools. Ten pages worth of items in here. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna get back to mining, and then I'll meet you guys back. Alright, so you hear some awful sounding mobs. Um, yeah, they're right there. <laughs> they're Cyclopses. I'm sure that's part of Divine RPG. Yeah, I don't want to deal with them. Let's go. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys. They're making all this awful noise, and they shoot projectiles at you. Holy smokes, that sounds awful. Um, and I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys these awful monsters that are in here. Oh my gosh, I really hate different mobs. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> they're there, and they spawned down in this little alleyway. I'm, I'm still, I'm still working on mining some more. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. Um, hopefully, I, I mean, I'm, I'll let you guys in if I find something else interesting like that. Um, but yeah, till then, I got some more work to do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves some uh, fluid transfer nodes. Um, if we take a look here, we need to actually. I can go ahead and claim this. Let's see. We can do a timer. I'll take that. Oh, I guess we get all of that. I guess we should have done that earlier. That would set us up to automate this guy. I guess it automatically gives it to us. I went ahead and made the clock, I guess, early on before I worried about that. This right here, I want to wait to do that one. We have a choice between an ender pearl or an emerald. I don't know if we're going to need an emerald or an ender pearl yet. Um, but we're going to work towards making this, and then we're going to work towards getting into thermal expansion. Um, now... We have all this done. Now we're fixing to do this. We need to get the uh, transfer pipe, this right here. That'll also give us Ender Pearl or that. Um, so let's get the fluid transfer pipe. Well, I guess it's. I guess do transfer. That works. Okay, here's the transfer pipe block of redstone, a regular transfer pipe, which we're going to need stone, which I was working on. We'll take that. Um, what else is this uh, regular regular pipe that we're needing? Gotta wait for it to cycle through all of them, I guess. Um, transfer pipe. There we go. Glass, redstone. So let's take all of that stuff. I know we're gonna need redstone. I know we're gonna need iron. We're gonna need um, gold, I think. And I know we're gonna need lapis. And we're also gonna need glass. All this to make this pipe. Okay, block of redstone. Pretty simple. A bucket. Actually, I already have a bucket. I guess I can go ahead and use... Eh, we'll, we'll make another one. Buckets, ready to go. Heavy recipe for a bucket, but oh well. Alright, we'll get our transfer pipes. And we should be able to make the transfer node. Okay. So we have one fluid transfer node. Now we've unlocked that. I'll also save that for later because we don't have to complete it currently. Um, but now we can make um, alamite, I guess, or that unlocks the progression to alamite. So does this. Um, but you need both of those unlocked to be able to go this far. Okay. I'm assuming it gives us mossy stone bricks to be able to make the, um, the moss ball or whatever it's called to automatically repair. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some obsidian, and I guess the easiest way to do that is to put it in here. Um, while this is actually clearing itself out, we can't actually pour obsidian into those ingots. But we can place water into a smeltery grain. I think I can put it over here. Nope. Oh, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and break this guy. I don't have any picks on me. I don't have a pick on me. How dare I? We're going to upgrade, upgrade this thing eventually anyways. Let's break that. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. So you can't actually click in this version. That's why you need this smeltery drain, I guess. Really? Um, how do you pump water in there? Is that what it was asking us to do? Okay. Um... It says, uh, make a liquid transfer node and import lava and water into your smeltery to create obsidian. Okay, does that mean I can put the transfer node on here?
That's pulling out. I want it to push in. Hopefully that didn't mess up our smeltery. Oh, it, it did. Totally did. It drained everything out, actually, is what it did. But everything went into the hopper. Okay. Oh, so just casted two out. Okay, that's fine. Alright, maybe it'll go like this. You can't actually put the buckets in. It's been a long time since I've done this. What is going on here? Um, so I can't put a bucket of water directly into the... In here. Okay, what kind of... I guess we gotta get a tank. Uh, let's do this. Um, there are a bunch of different kind of tanks that we could use, or we could just make another tank. I just want a regular, smaller tank. Is the one from Open Blocks requires obsidian. Um, I guess I can just make another, another barrel. Okay, that'll work. Alright, let's get our iron out. Because this guy is iron heavy, for sure. Iron like this. Two iron plates. Oh. Extra utilities. We need our drum. And we can just fill the drum with water. That's probably going to be the best thing to do. Put it there for now. And that guy will go in here. Let's set our... Where's it at? What I'll do is I'll use this to pump lava and water into this thing. So I'll use it one at a time, I guess. I need the wrench from Extra Utilities. Yep, that's what I'll end up doing. Let's take this guy out. And we'll just move this is honestly what we'll do. And we'll just place this here. Because since this is the only thing in here, this is automatically going to pump the block of lava in there. So right now there is water in here. And then I will do this. That's going to pull that lava out. And then it's going to pump out our obsidian. Okay. So that's that's pretty simple. So all I have to do is just get some water. And grab our lava. And bam. We can do this. It's pretty slow. There's no upgrades. So getting water in here is not the fastest. But yeah, it automatically combines. Bam. There goes that. Awesome. So yeah, we'll just keep doing this until we get a little bit of obsidian. Um, currently, we have obsidian. What's the quest book? Anything about obsidian that it, it requires? No, nothing. Um, this doesn't really require obsidian. What else requires obsidian? Nothing. Right here is a quest for obsidian. Um, a sterling generator is something that we're also going to need to make. It says, it recommends a sterling generator. Alright. So, sterling generator. Oh yeah, that's super simple to make. Requires coal. Okay. Sag mill. It's going to be out of our thing because we have to up, we have to move through thermal expansion to be able to get invar. Should be pulverizer, smelter, induction smelter. There it is. Um, ferrous ingots and iron make the invar. So, we know how to do that. Um, now, the obsidian. Uh, I only needed two obsidian. I needed five... What was it? Five aluminum. Actually, I should probably just cook these up. Uh, we're missing our water. Let's go ahead and get that in there real quick. But, we need five aluminum. So if I put all this aluminum in here, and I make sure once this is done, I can break this. 
Get her cast out. And that should make our ingots for us real quick. And then I'll be able to complete the other quest. Now, while it's all doing that, let's worry about making the sterling generator. Basic gears. Pretty simple. Um, sticks, cobblestone, iron gears. Alright, sticks, cobblestone, good to go. Um, we're also going to need, looks like, bricks and a furnace. Okay. So, like this. Oh yeah, we need iron gears. Make a few of those. Just in case we make more than one, this is going to require a couple of those guys. Also a chest. Oh yeah, we need a wood. Can't forget about that. So yeah, a lot of crafting recipes have changed in this. That's why it makes it so difficult. These, like, even early game recipes are harder. Like the furnace. That's going to make life a little bit harder later on. Simply because it requires this. And it requires four blocks of compressed cobblestone. So that's something we'll definitely want to have automated later on. Oh yeah, I need uh, two of those. So there we go. Two furnaces um, ready to go. We are rocking the pistons. We needed smooth stone for that. And we have redstone on us, so that should not be an issue. Ah, what are we missing? The chest, that's right. And then we should be able to make two of these once we get our stone. There we go. Two sterling generators ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Um, now, thermal expansion. We're going to need the pulverizer. One of the first things we're going to need to make. So we're going to need copper. So I guess get rid of a lot of this stuff that we have in here. Um, and then we also need to go ahead and get this guy up and running. We need five aluminum. I'm pretty sure it's five aluminum. Two obsidian. And then, actually, does one obsidian count as two obsidian? We can try it. I don't know if one obsidian converts into um, what consists of two. But I do know this is five. And then we take a look at our smelting book. Let's just make sure. It is five aluminum, two iron, and two... Okay. So I know it's two iron. Let's actually cut this off for now. Five aluminum. Two iron. Perfect. That should work, I think. I don't know if the, uh, I guess two obsidian. We can go ahead and put that in there. And then we'll just let that cook up and then we'll worry about that all later here in a minute. All right. Now. Back to thermal expansion. So pulverizer. Regular machine frame. The machine frame is all that seared brick. So we're going to need some glass here. So let's just cook us up another set of sand. And that way we'll get a bunch of that stuff ready to go. Okay. So the regular mach basic machine frame. Uh, I wish it was like right. There it is. 10 gear. I don't think I have any tin on me. I was working on getting some tin cooked up, I thought. I did. Okay. Perfect. We have a lot of materials on us. Let's just kind of clear a few things out so we know what we have on us and what we're going to need. Good. Okay. So I know we're going to need tin. I know we're going to need iron. Those are two definites. I'll save that for here in a minute. 
I will put this in a special area. All right, and now we should be able to get going, hopefully. All right, basic machine casing. That's going to require iron and tin. That'll give us a tin gear for sure. Here it is. Okay, seared. Um, take two of those because I know we're going to need those eventually anyways. So I'll make two sets of those. You know, let's just do two sets of tin gear. And we should be able to make two of these. Bam. Two machine frames up and running, ready to go. Pulverizer. Oh, we're going to need another piston, which requires a chest. Make a couple of those. Um, this redstone requires gold. So that was something that I don't have on me. Um, does what's let's look at our guidebook real quick. Um, it wants us to make the pulverizer and the redstone furnace. Okay, redstone furnace and pulverizer. Let's look. Make sure pulverizer gives us the hopper augment and the redstone furnace. Okay. So those are two good things to have. Um, easy to automate and we can we have the power for them. Okay. So, copper gears. Don't have our copper on us. Let's grab that. Bam. And almost everything else we should have. There we go. Can't wait till we get into um, having our crafting uh, set up. Oh well, I'll just do it like this. And this will be our first... Actually, that that's like a better recipe for that. I actually like that recipe. Alright, and our flint. I'm pretty sure I have flint laying around here somewhere. There we go. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost ready. I think we just need the uh, copper gears. That's about it. And the piston. Almost forgot about the piston. Piston, and then... Bam. Pulverizer. Alright, and then we also need the redstone furnace, which requires bricks, which we don't actually have clay as far as I know. Let's go ahead and get, get some clay really quick. And we should be able to cook this stuff up, like, really fast. As long as we have a shovel, we should have clay laying around right over here. Oh wow, that like broke our pick for some reason. Broke our shovel. It's weird. Oh well, we only need a little bit of clay. I think I completely demolished our our shovel. I was trying to vein mine with it, it didn't work. Okay, um, this just needs to be cooked up. We can split that up right there. Let's go back and check on this. Looks like we have three ingots of alamite, and as I, as I said before, I thought the obsidian doubled itself. So we have more obsidian than we actually need. But we can go ahead and get ourselves this, and let's see, does this... What does this require? One ingot. That's it. Sweet. But we're going to get three because we're going to use that to make a pick head. There we go. Alright, and then back to this. We should have enough bricks, hopefully, to get started with at least something. We need two more. And our furnace should be pretty much the same as the other one. Alright, we did not have... Uh, four more gold, so we need four more gold, I know. And then everything else we should be able to get. And then we'll be able to get started with thermal expansion. How oh, sweet. Um, this guy... The 
coil. And bam. Alright, we have our two machines. And I guess we can set them over here. And we'll have two Sterling Generators. One here and one there. For right now, we'll have our Pulverizer here. And our Redstone Furnace here. And these should, um, as soon as I give them coal, start burning up. Start generating some power there. There we go. And both of them are working. So yeah. They're doing pretty good. Um, now, quest book. We got this. We can claim our redstone. Let's claim our leadstone flux ducts. And our augments. Okay. And this guy. Let's get him more coal. And that. We're waiting on. But, now we can go ahead and claim it. Mossy brick. Okay. Um, we're fixing to make a pick head. And to do that, we need that aluminum brass. I think just one aluminum brass actually makes the head for the pick. And then we can actually make that. So we need the pick head. We're going to need the actual tool rod and the binding, all for the pick. And then we can use cobblestone to make our pick heads. Make a template for this. And actually use that to make that. There we go. All is good. Okay. And all these can go over here. Alright. Let's clear out some stuff. Looks like all of our nice materials should go in here. Everything else can go down here. Like almost everything. Even the mossy can go in there. Wood stuff. And everything else goes over here. Perfect. That looks good to me. Um, you know what? I can probably... It's probably better if I move these machines. Um, let's see. Let's take this out. Let's do this. Let's move these somewhere different. Actually, do these actually break if you... What's the wrench require with this mod? Tin and iron. Let's just make that. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally break it and it just just fall to pieces. Um, tin, one tin, and the rest is iron. There we go. And we set the pulverizer here. Well, that kind of works. It's not exactly what I wanted, so... Probably... Probably s not do it that way. I guess we can use... This for something else later on? I don't know. I really have no use for the flux ducts currently. I think the pulverizer honestly uses more energy than anything. I don't know. Just wasting time to be honest. Um, Alright. So, um, we need to cast a few things. Actually need a, a bit of aluminum brass in here. I can use obsidian. I'm just going to make a pretty cheap pick, I guess, um, to get started. So we'll do our pickaxe head, of course, of alamite. Make sure the aluminum brass is down there. We'll go ahead and get our cast done of that. I have three ingots of alamite. I should probably just get that back in the smeltery. 
And then what else can I go ahead and do? Our binding. I'll probably do paper. Our, st our rod will be something else. It will be obsidian. Most likely. Let's see. We Actually, iron gives us magnetic, I think. If that's still the same. I'm so used now, or, or used to um, the way it is now, that I don't honestly know. I would have to look in our materials in you to be able to figure out what the different modifiers are. Actually, the modifiers will probably show you in Mighty Smelting. Let's see. Modifiers. Different book. Materials in you volume. Two. There we go. Yeah, so I know that... Um, this right here gives you reinforcement level, mining speed. Okay, we don't want nothing like that. Slime gives you more durability. Flint. Stone gives you stone bound. Iron modifier. Um, tool durability. I'll just use iron. Probably just do both iron. Okay, so we'll do alamite. No, we we'll do iron on here. I still need to get my binding. Set that to aluminum brass. And then also do iron on the binding. And the pickaxe head will be alamite. There we go. And that should be good. All right, so we can go ahead and put this pick together. Um, also, we could gather this. It's going to give us paper and aluminum brass. Which is fine, I guess. I don't know why it's giving... Unless it wants us to make the uh, extra modifier on there with the paper. As a paper binding. But I don't really want a paper binding. Um, I want iron. All the way, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and build this thing. We have that. And these guys. There we go. And we'll name it. Chosen's Pick. Awesome. So now we have this really nice pick that's pretty much diamond level. Um... So repair, to repair it, we're going to need Alamite, it looks like. Um, it has Reinforce 2, Mining Speed 8, really pretty fast. Uh, mining level, it'll mine Cobalt. So, yeah, this guy is a high mining level pick. And we're pretty much uh, set up to mine Obsidian, mine um, all that good stuff. So we can actually go to the Nether and all that all that craziness there. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're looking pretty good in this pack. Um... I did manage to get this stuff, so of course, instead of putting it um, in this, we can go ahead and throw stuff in the pulverizer. And this is going to double our output as well. And give us two dust, and then we can have that actually transport over into here with some item ducts, which we can easily make. And uh, yeah, this is actually pretty fast. So yeah, for not too much coal either, I mean, it's not that bad. Burn rate 100% 20 RF per tick. This is using 20 RF per tick. So, yeah, both of these. So, not too bad. Um, we can also still do it the old fashioned way here um, and still be good. Oh, wait, this only used one. We still have two more Alamite ingots worth. So, yeah, we have two ingots to be able to repair our stuff with. Yeah, I think we've done pretty good. We've, uh, we've cleared another section out. Um, it wants us to move on into Ender.io next episode. And was as tough as Obsidian. We need 40 Obsidian. So yeah, we could probably do that pretty easy. Um, 
uh, Skystone, this is going to move us towards um, getting ourselves a little uh, um, inventory system going up with extra utility, or not with extra utilities, with, um, oh my gosh, AE2. <laughs> so uh, AE2 will be set up, everything will be looking good. We're looking pretty good um, in today's episode. I know it was a little bit longer than last episode, but uh, uh, it just required a lot more work. So, um, and I wanted to get as much done as I possibly could in a day's worth of work, which included building this guy. Um, so I did all this today. Um, so I spent a lot of time playing this pack. Um, I think I put probably six hours or so into today's episode before even recording. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys um, are is enjoy or hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. If you guys are, please over to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always. Thanks for watching.